welcome this is the energy vibration um, reading for the um, Sun moon and rising sign of the Aries okay this is the month of May 2018 and in this month of May um, you have your own energy vibration but the month of May has the energy vibration of the Empress what is the energy of the Empress the Empress is a mother figure and with these mother figure and these sort of a situation that is happening and that is transpiring this is a time of nurturing this is a time of healing this is a time when um, uh, um, different situations and scenarios comes out okay so what is happening here and what is transpiring in this month for you guys is that um, there is the energy of the devil and this energy of the devil is here and you can see this energy of the devil which is the energy your own energy vibration which is coming out wonderful energies especially around love um, is going to be happening for you guys but the strangest thing is um, these situations that are happening and transpiring um, <laughs> is so strange but anyway um this deck is the deck of the um fountain tower card i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and thank you for the wonderful support um that has been transpiring in our lives um i want to say to each and every person um please like and share these videos and um uh in this month of may you have five weeks please go back at um, in the middle of the month to um, listen to um, the next two last week or the third week go back at the third week to look and see what has transpired in the two <coughs> sorry in the two first week and then see what is to come in the two last week it's going to be an emotional month for you Aries it's going to be a very 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 emotional month for you Aries whatever the situation is that that is transpiring around, <coughs> sorry around you Aries it's going to be a month of transition that is happening a month of transition that is happening so you have your own energy vibration of the energy of the devils the ego you're working with the ego so what is happening in the first week in the first week you have the nine of cups in reverse so there was something that you were wishing and hoping and dreaming for in your relationships and um this situation especially for the women over the age of 40 is um you know it's it's, it's gonna happen um you know if you needed money for a situation um it's not gonna happen um but it is if the universe is saying to you um this is not for you or this is not the way you should go okay something better is coming because the energy of the sun is um there the energy of the source is there okay so it's as if your spirit guides and angel are watching over you and they are not giving you this dream that you want to come out because what is transpiring is that um they are realizing that it's not the right thing for you at this moment so it's going to affect um most of the ladies and um um most of the ladies is going to be um, um positive but for the men it's going to be as if the dreams your dreams and wishes that you had hoped for leaving the month of April coming in May it's not going to really happen because it's not, it's as if the universal angel and this is going to affect the Sun people so the Sun people whoever you are that was born 12 um, a.m. in the morning until 6 p.m. in the evening this is going to affect you Sun people because what is going to be transpiring is that for the men um, it's as if source is not giving you what you wished and hope and dream for um, what is going to transpire though is that um, for the women uh, in love especially the women who are connected with uh, um, the Aquarians this is going to be um, very powerful because um, it's as if the, the universe of, of or, or the source of orchestrate this money is not going to be a problem um, um, family are going to be helping you out in whatever situation that is here because I'm also seeing the nine of Pentacles which money is coming in and family 
or and is going to be helping you out as we move forward and we're looking at um, the energy of the second weeks there is also the ten of cups in reverse so there is obviously um, an emotional karmatic situation that is transpiring with the family it's all about family in this uh, month of May for you Aries um, there is a huge problem in the family um, with you Aries because that energy is as if it's a karmatic situation that needs to be cleaned and that energy is having a huge um, focus on you at this moment because it is the center of your month it is the ten of cups and the ten of cups has to do with family so the month of May is not going to be one of the most promising month um, with the energies of your family because here is a situation that is transpiring where you're seeing that um, whatever the situation is and was with a family situation it is not looking that good um, what is transpiring is that you need to heal a karmatic situation in the family okay as we move to the third week we have the energy of for the ace of cups in the reverse form okay so whatever the situation is in the family there is no love that is coming to you okay um especially if it has to do with your kids and that sort of a thing um your kids are not being very honest to you um this is what i should say to most of you especially if you were born um, between the hours of 6 um, p.m. And, and 12 a.m. in the morning your kids are not being honest to you if you have a kid that is a Gemini that kid is not being honest to you okay there is a rivalry if you have kids that are um, a Gemini or a Capricorn there is a rivalry between these two persons and someone um, which the Capricorn is uh, being honest about the situation but the Gemini is hiding secrets okay the Capricorn is being honest about the situation but the Gemini's are hiding some secrets okay the Gemini's are not being very honest about a situation and this is transpiring this could also be a situation where um, you have found out that this new start that you have with someone um, which could be a Gemini or a Capricorn and this is a connection so some of you are going to be really connecting with the Capricorns in love relationship the Capricorns and the Gemini there is a new start for a soulmate relationship or a twin flame relationship with the Gemini's and the Capricorns in the third week okay this this possibility does exist so um, this is what you're going to be seeing transforming in the third week so as, as if there was a new start um, someone has said you know um, here um, you know this is how I feel about you and as if the Gemini or the Capricorn has turned down the offer that you have offered them and the new start that would have come is as if they are not ready for that new stuff or it's as if it's going too fast and they need to slow down something they are not ready to pick up and move so fast and it's as if you need to, things to be happening at this moment and they're like I am not ready for this don't push me in this because this is not where I am and I'm not ready for this at this moment so be careful what is happening um, in the third week because obviously um, you the, for the people who are connected with a Capricorn and the Gemini's it's it's not gonna be happening at this moment It's as if they feel as if whatever new start is going too fast in, and this is all in love and relationships and they are going to be taking a stand back in the third week okay let's look at the fourth week the fourth week is the energy of the Knight of cups okay the energy of the Knight of cups is the energy of uh, 
um, someone who is between the ages of 25 and 45 who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion now this could be a woman or a man because it's showing up with the feminine and the masculine energies so whatever is happening um, between this person and you um, is that source of bring you both together okay the universe source of bring you both together okay so whatever is the situation and this is going to affect the women if you women have a connection with the night um or the um princess who is an an a, a pisces cancer or a scorpion between the ages of 25 and 45 so when I say between the ages of 25 and 45 um, this man is between the ages of 25 and 45 that is connecting with you women from 18 until older um, it is as if the universe have orchestrate this meet for you okay and this is um, a positive um, is as if the universe orchestrate this meet so that you two could cross part with each other so you could um, connect with this person okay as we look at the last week um, for the um, the singles who are looking for relationships there are a lot of new people out there um, you know the energies in the last week is open for the soulmate relationship what I'm seeing here and what I should advise you about is that a lot of you will be connecting with a lot of um, hurt sign people because the energies of the earth sign peoples are coming up in your reading because you have the energy of um, the, the the Capricorns the Gemini's and uh, there are new connections that are coming in for you guys so um this is actually um very very good in the sense that what is transpiring and what is happening is that there are positive situations that are coming up there are positive situations that are um moving forward and moving out of certain situation into positive situation whatever the situation is in in the ending of the fourth week and the beginning of the fifth week there is a situation with the um a man who is a, a taurus virgo or a capricorn over the age of 40 okay this man could be coming in and this man could be working with the knight of cups to either open up new um possibilities for you the sort of a thing um and 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 this could be good because this could be that some of you are connecting with these people who this is going to turn out in a soulmate of a twin flame relationship and this could be marriage that is coming up also and you know this is the sort of a thing that is going to be happening and going to be transpiring for you guys so this is actually very good because it's a month of emotional situation where you have to deal with love you have to deal with um your family it's a, it's a situation where um the situation with a family there is obviously a situation because the energy of the ten of cups is in reverse so obviously something needs to be ill in the family money is not going to be a problem especially for the ladies money is not going to be a, pro a problem for you guys because I'm seeing the energy of money for the men it's going to be in a little bit of shift okay um, financial your financial situation is going to be in a little bit of shift for the men and what does this mean is that it's either you're giving too much out and not receiving a lot in and and, and this is a situation that is going to be transpiring new love is about to take in some of you are going to be receiving a new start in a relationship some of you are going to want to be connecting with new people in relationships some of you are going to be crossing parts with twin flame and soulmate relationship which this is very wonderful and this is more of a twin flame relationship and this is going to be happening for some people in the third week and for some people it's going to be happening in the um, fifth week 
um, you'll be crossing part with the Capricorns and the Gemini's and this is for the Sun sign the uh, moon sign people this is for the people who are born in the nights you are going to be crossing part with the Gemini's and the Capricorn in love there is going to be a new start for the people who are going to meet these people in the third week don't push it because you will push them away it's as if they're not ready for this relationship okay um, for the the sun sign people money is not going to be a problem for the people who were born um, 12 o'clock between 12 12 a.m. in the morning and 6 p.m. in the evening money is not going to be a problem for you love is going to be coming in um, financial stability is going to be actually coming in your world especially for the ladies there is a situation that is happening for the ladies in this month um, that is opening up financial doors of opportunities because you have the energy of the um, you have the energy of the source on your side and this is going to be extremely positive for you because it's as if the universe is working for you and with you to bring you um, this um, positive situation whatever the situation that you guys are having with um, someone um, over the age of 40 who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn whatever the situation is that is happening um, to this person or with between you and this person whatever just that situation is you are going to be realizing that this situation is going to be um, changing okay because the energy of the ten of cups is um, basically showing you that there is a positive change that is coming up for this situation whether it's your father mother or um, a uncle a sibling or whoever this person is whether this person that you have to clear karma it could be um, but it has to do with some on an emotional level so it has to be something in a relationship okay so I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back Please like, share these videos. It's going to be a wonderful month for you guys. Namaste until next time.